Bailey and today I'm going to be talking about how I take bookstagram photos. So today's video is sponsored by Redbubble and it's a little bit more of a casual video but it's one that has been requested actually quite a bit. But first of all Redbubble is this company that allows these different creators and artists from all around the world to get their art out there. So they have all sorts of different products. They have duvet covers, they have scarves, they have mugs, they have pillows. I love the pillows. They have sweaters, they have t-shirts, tote bags, everything you can basically imagine in all sorts of different patterns and stuff, they have it. So because of that, they are a great place to do some holiday shopping. I actually did a gift guide with them, which was tons of fun to make, so I will link that video down below, as well as their general gift guide that will be linked down below as well. But I felt like doing a video about how I take my bookstagram photos was pretty apropos to talk about Redbubble because I love using their stuff as props for my photos. So let's just get into the video and I will show you how I take all of my beautiful bookstagram photos, or at least I think they're beautiful. You might not, but that's fine. I'm gonna show you how to take some though. <laughs> so first of all, I start off with this little birchwood background thingy. I got it from my work when it was closing. It was part of a display, but you can find a lot of backdrops on the internet, but I've been liking this white one recently. I have quite a few, but I've been using this one a lot. And now I'm just going to take the books that I'm featuring. So I decided for this photo to feature the Barnes and Noble Classics editions. I'll usually have a pile of books next to me that I'm planning on taking photos of, but I decided to go with these ones. So now I'm going to be taking this pillow here that says read more books. It is from Redbubble and it is so cute. And then scarves are another great prop. So I'm going to be adding this scarf, which I got from Chapters Indigo. And I'm just wrapping that around there just because it kind of matches the pillow. So I think it looks really nice. Then I'm just going to be adding in some flowers. So I got some at Michael's because they had an awesome sale going on. I only get them at Michael's when they have a sale because otherwise they're really expensive, but I'm just adding adding flowers where I feel like they are needed. It was really hard to do this because I kept on like trying to get over the board and it was just, it was a struggle. But I find that pillows are a great prop and actually Redbubble has a bunch of other things that would work great as props as well. So definitely go and check out their site. So if you guys use the coupon code Haley in Bookland-15 up until December 22nd, you can get 15% off of your whole order. But right now I'm basically trying to fill in any gaps just make it look pretty full don't worry about the stuff hanging over the edge you're going to edit after anyway so you can just crop all of that out and it will look good you just want it to look nice and full but now I'm going to be adding in a couple of pop talls so I have Rapunzel and Sleeping Beauty here because I have fairy tale books so it fits and now my photo is all ready to go and the pillow is kind of the focus but there's books too so for the second photo I'm just flipping the board because I'm going to take this photo horizontally I normally take my photos horizontally because it gives me a little bit more space but I decided to switch things up. But I am using this Just One More Chapter pillow that is by Risa Rodil on Redbubble. I love her stuff. This is an awesome pillow. It's so cute. I also got it in a shirt actually. But now I'm taking this little, I think it's like a display board, but I got it at Chapters Indigo where I work at once again. And it's just like this log thing. And I like to use it as a prop for a lot of my photos. So I'm taking that, putting some books on it. The theme of this is kind of arcs that I have to read and I want to read soon but I'm also adding in that mug there that has the little cat sleeping on a stack of books it's so cute so I decided to add that in there and I haven't done it yet but I'm actually going to prop it up with some stuff so then you can see it a little bit better but now just like the other photo I am adding in some flowers because flowers are my favorite prop they're inexpensive and they look really nice and they just I feel like they spice up a lot of photos but I like using flowers mugs are awesome I have a ton of mugs and Redbubble also has some awesome some mugs. Pillows, like I said, are great. You really can't go wrong with many things. You can even get some stickers on Redbubble and like put them there and they would match the book that you're doing. You just want stuff to match and just to look pretty. That's basically what you're doing is trying to enhance your focal point. While I'm just setting up this photo here, I'll just talk a little bit about my equipment. So I use my filming camera actually to take all of my photos. I use my Canon T5i, I think I have. I don't even know what camera I have, but you can also use your phone. Your phone will work perfectly well. Phones have great cameras now, so that would be more than adequate. So you can use whatever you have to take your photo as long as it takes photos. As far as editing goes, I edit on Lightroom, but you can use any editing software. There's 
there's tons of free softwares online, so you can definitely work with what you have. Now, I like to go for a more is more, I guess, philosophy with my photos. I like to have them really kind of busy with lots of flowers in there, lots of props and stuff, but you definitely don't need to be breaking the bank on props. You can get whatever you have, stuff just lying around the house and work with that, or you can just take photos in front of your bookshelf. I still do those sometimes. Or you can just have a cat who will possibly mess up your photo, but possibly also make it cuter. So I'm just filling in with some pine cones. I find that they make a great prop and that's something that you can even find outside. I think I bought mine at the dollar store at Michael's, but just use the resources that you have and just make it pretty. This is kind of a personal preference thing, whatever you like and find inspiration from the accounts that you're following. So now this second post is done. So now I'm going to import them to my computer and then I make a folder that says edit on it. So then I know which photos I have to edit once I get to Lightroom. So now I'm just opening up Lightroom and now we can see a picture that I took before, but now I'm going to get those new photos up. So now I have these photos here and now I'm right off the bat going to delete the ones that I know I don't want. So this just kind of narrows it down and keeps me from editing photos unnecessarily. So I may have started with like 20 photos in the beginning, but normally I'll end up with like four or so. And this time I end up with four photos in total. So now I'm just speeding along this process because it's really boring, but now I'm just going to edit. So I'm going to crop and I'm going to focus on the exposure and stuff like that and the clarity and then once I get to the second photo that's kind of the same I just click on previous because then it just applies the same things. How you edit your photos and such is obviously totally up to personal preference as well. I like to make sure that mine look bright and vibrant but you might not want yours like that. So now I have to get these photos to my phone so I go into the folder where I exported them which has all of my Instagram photos and I am going to airdrop them to my phone so then they will just show up right on my phone. It is very easy and very very painless, unless AirDrop is deciding to be stupid, but usually it's not too bad with my phone. It works. My laptop is a little bit different, but now it is on my phone, as you can see, which is a magical technology. So now I'm opening up Instagram and I am going to post it. So choosing this one and I just don't want it cropped that much, so I'm fixing that. And then I like to use the Ginga, I can't say that word at all, but I like to use that filter just very lightly on my photo. And now I am just going to add in a cap Keep my captions short and sweet, usually just a quote from whatever book I'm featuring, or if it's more than one, then just something else. But now I'm going to be tagging people, so I'm going to tag Redbubble, and then I'm going to also tag the creators who made all of the awesome Redbubble stuff that I featured in the photo. So now we are all ready to share. So now we are just going to post it. So we are posting, hello Sasha, and dun 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 ta da we are posted! So I wanted to show you my feed really quickly and kind of show you how it has evolved over the past little bit. I've really taken to improving it in the past couple of months so I hope you guys have seen the improvement because I've been putting a lot of time into it but you can see I use that same red bubble pillow in another photo but these are all of my posts from recently and like I said I'm really happy with how my feed is. I use flowers a lot as you can see and usually I'll feature a single title but every now and again I'll feature more than one but this is going a little ways back and you can see how much I feel like I have improved at least in the last little bit but I do still really like these photos and everyone has to start somewhere it's kind of something where you need to practice and practice makes perfect just like it does with everything else but now I'm going to go back and show you a few of my favorite posts from recently because like I said I've really liked them so this one of the reader by Tracy Chi is one of my favorites I just love how it matches like I like to match the flowers and the props I use to the book this one uh, Vengeance Road by Erin Bowman is another good one War Cross really like this one with all of the colors going on in it and then this one I did for Mad Hatter Day I love it I think it looks so nice and Alice in Wonderland is obviously something I have a lot of props for I also really like this Barnes & Noble Flexibound Classics Edition post because I just think they're so pretty I love the spines on those posts but yeah you can see I 
use all sorts of different props and here's today's post yay go and comment on it if you are watching this video and say that it sent you here <laughs> so to kind of wrap things up I basically use a lot of props in my photos but that's not something that you really have to do you can find stuff anywhere and you can just make the book look pretty and it will be a good photo but some of my favorite props are candles candles are awesome flowers are definitely like my number one favorite prop bookmarks make a great prop as well they are great and like I said Redbubble has tons of stuff that makes great props pillows are awesome and they just make everything look more comfy and cozy and beautiful pop dolls are another great prop that I like to use but work within your means don't like stretch yourself you don't even have to spend any money if you have books then you can have a bookstagram but I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys wanted to follow me on bookstagram my handle is at Haley and bookland but that will be linked down below for you guys I also have Twitter and my Twitter is at Hales in bookland so you can follow me there where I also post my Instagram photos and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video I put up new videos every Monday and Thursday but we are almost at bookmas time so then I will be putting up a video every day which is crazy but thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much to Redbubble for working with me on this video and I will see you guys in my next video bye